Hey, it's Brian Egger for BreakingCall.com. It is April 25th, so we have intraday comments on Royal Caribbean symbol RCL. The stock is up about 7% in intraday trading uh, after this, this morning's first quarter earnings upside surprise and the reaffirmation of the company's full year revenue and earnings guidance. Now, our take is this rally really does make sense, at least in the short term, because Royal Caribbean certainly bucked fears instilled by Carnival's mid-March earnings guidance reduction that adverse uh, industry events might have uh, really affected uh, Royal Caribbean's revenue growth. And Carnival actually lowered its full-year earnings guidance by 15% back in March. So we've got two points to emphasize here on Royal Caribbean. First of all, the upside. Uh, Royal Caribbean's first quarter beat 35 cents in earnings per share versus a uh, 21 cent consensus came from both revenues and margins. Uh, first quarter revenue growth top guidance by a point and unit cost growth was also less than expected. Secondly, now you've got the offset. The fact that Royal actually maintains full year 2013 uh, yield and earnings guidance despite the first quarter beat suggests the company took a haircut to full year or I should say to mid-year growth expectations. So in fact, we've seen second quarter guidance come in here uh, below consensus by about seven cents. So you know the net news here is positive today's rally makes sense. Uh, European demand is trending a little better than Royal Caribbean's own very conservative expectations a few months ago. Now that's been offset to some degree by disruption from itinerary changes in Asia, but I think this turn in Europe, uh, even if initial and modest, is very welcome news. This has been Brian Egger for BreakingCall.com. Please be sure to visit our website for updates on this and other companies and sectors. Thanks again and have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.